everyone, me again. Hope you're all okay. I hope you enjoyed baking the mini egg cookie crunch last week, um, ready for Easter, and I hope it was all very delicious. Today I'm going to do a strawberry and marshmallow mousse, which is a super easy recipe, um, and it doesn't take too long at all. Most of the time it's just in the fridge setting. So let's wash our hands and then let's bake. washed. Right, so there's not very many um, ingredients for this recipe. Um, so you're going to need 250 grams of strawberries, um, which hopefully um, you should just chop them up so they're already in halves. If they're really big ones, you can cut them down a little bit smaller. So 250 grams of strawberries to start with, um, 100 millilitres of just cold water, um, and then you're going to need 25 grams of caster sugar. Okay, so first things first, we're just going to put the strawberries in the pan, the caster sugar in the pan, sprinkle it over, and the 100 millilitres of cold water in the pan. Okay, so we've put that all in, okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to put this over a medium heat on the hob, um, and we're just going to let the... Um, strawberries basically uh, cook down until they're soft enough to be able to mash. Um, so let's get these on. So they should probably take about three or four minutes until they're soft enough to mash. So while you do it, while they're doing that, um, you could measure out 140 grams of these little mini marshmallows. They're tiny, tiny. So some of them, 140 grams and 200 millilitres of double cream and that's all the ingredients you need. So I think the berries are nearly done, let's go and check them. They look quite soft. Okay, so they're at a consistency in which the um, strawberries will mash. Um, so what we're going to do is just get a fork um, and just mash the strawberries. There'll still be quite a bit of water in there. The sugar should have dissolved. So mash all the strawberries. They're nice and soft, so it should be quite easy. strawberries so it can take a little bit of time okay nearly done you could get a masher that might work a bit better than a fork, but you use whatever's easiest for you. Right, so mine look quite mine look quite mashed. So what we do next is we get our marshmallows, 140 grams of the mini ones, these little ones, and we're going to tip them into the mixture, and then we're going to um, stir them until they've all the marshmallows have dissolved into the mixture. Okay. Mine's turning into a big frothy mess. Okay. You should you should see your marshmallows um kind of like melting and getting a little bit smaller, which is good. That means you're doing it right. Okay, keep mixing it all together. So 
So once all your marshmallows are dissolved, it will take a little bit of time. So keep mixing them till it's all dissolved. And then what, what we want to do is we want to leave this mixture to cool completely um, before we mix the cream in. So let it leave it, let it cool completely, and then we'll come back to this mixture shortly. So while the strawberry and marshmallow mix is cooling, I'm going to whip up some cream. So you need 200 milliliters of double cream. Um, now you can whip this either, um, either by hand whisk, or you can put it in a big mixer, or you can just use this, an electric um, cake mixer like I've got here, okay? So um, we need to mix it until it there's kind of like, it just holds its shape, okay? So let's get mixing. <laughs> will soon grow even bigger than they already are. So get all the cream off. And then we're going to mix this in with our strawberry mixture. Okay guys, so my strawberry and marshmallow mix is nice and cool. Um, all the marshmallows should have dissolved by now. Um, the cream is whipped, so now we just need to combine the two and then put them in some glasses to set. So, all you need to do is tip the marshmallow strawberry mix into the cream. Make sure you get it all out. Every last piece of goodness. And then we're just going to fold the cream and the strawberry mix together. Okay, so just gently do this till it's all combined. Might look a bit lumpy to start with, but that's absolutely fine. Keep mixing it. So 
So once it's all smooth, okay, there might be a few lumps of mashed strawberries in there, but that's absolutely fine. So once it's all smooth, we need to pop it into some glasses. So you can use one big glass bowl if you want, if you want a large portion, or I've opted for these little small glass um, jars, okay? So we're just gonna put a little bit in each of these. It's a bit messy, but that's okay. Okay, I've got a bit extra, so I'm just going to top these ones up with my extra mix. Made a little bit of a mess. So I'm just going to wipe my glasses. Oh, this one's really dirty. Okay. There we go. So we've got five strawberry mousse. Now, these need to go into the fridge for about two hours to chill, and then they're gonna be yummy to eat. So you could maybe put a few, I've got a few leftover marshmallows. So I think I might put a few marshmallows on top of them. Okay. And they will just look nice as a decoration. Once set, you could put some fresh strawberries on top if you've got any leftover, or you could even maybe like grate some chocolate and put some chocolate on top. So you can decorate however you want. So there we go. I'm going to pop them into the fridge to set for two hours and then they'll be nice and ready to eat. Okay. Enjoy everyone and please send in some pictures of your strawberry mousse if you make it. See you later.